Hi everybody, um, it's Alec. Um, this is the fourth attempt at this video. It's very bad because the first two I didn't have enough memory. The third one, uh, it was all good. Got I got all I had some files on my tablet itself. That's what the camera saves the stuff to is my tablet that I'm using. Uh, long story short, I gave too many details about where I work and I don't want like who I am to you know. I'm not any of anybody import, important, but I, you know, there are crazy people out there that will come get you. So, uh, anyways, while well, we get a fourth attempt, here we go. So, I want to talk about something that just bugged me the hell today, bugged the hell out of me today at work. Um, specifically with how we talk about other people, um, and re, you know, stuff we don't, we're not really sure about, but the way we can go off, and jump to conclusions really quickly, or immediately get pissed off about something that has nothing to do, or that may, you know, you don't know all the information, and I'm terrible at this, I will plead innocence, I'm in my 20s, so I'm still learning a lot, and I, oh, my hair looks terrible, I don't care, I'm quick to jump to conclusions about stuff, and I don't think things through before I spew stuff out of my mouth, which is why I'm doing this, because it's entertaining for me, and I keep looking at myself, um, so, long story short, I work at a grocery store as a nighttime manager, so I deal with the people that come in, and there's this lovely cleaning lady, and she's like the most adorable cleaning lady in the world, but she's not from this country, so she doesn't speak very good English. Uh, this is not really important to the story, but it's a funny note. So, uh, she's from El Salvador, and she's like the nicest person I've ever met. And she tries really hard to communicate, and she, but she just does not speak English well. So, she, um... She clean. She comes and cleans our store five times a week. The other two times it's on us, and uh, so she came in last night, and she's she's very worried about like getting in your way. So she'll kind of do not shady stuff, but she'll do stuff and just to avoid you. Like if you're in an aisle and she's doing the floors, like at my last store I worked at, they would come down the aisle and you would like run to the other side, move all your stuff over, and then they'd go by, and then you move it all back and they come by. She would just not do that aisle because you're in it, and I love that. She's just like, oh, I don't want to bug the guy. I'm going to go the other way. Um, so she was doing the bathrooms, and I think it was her. I don't. I can't confirm it, but long story short, I think she grabbed a new roll of toilet paper and left the empty box in the in the rack, which isn't a big deal. We, it's you know, it's not. It's like it's the littlest deal of all time. And this employee comes in the morning. Very nice person. Very polite um, guy. I, I mean, I like him. Uh, very, very, very prominently religious, you know, bless you, I'll pray for you type of person. Which I've never had good experience with that type of person. and I, But I don't think they're, you know, I'm not religious per se. I'm open to the concept, never personally found proof. I, there's probably something up there to say that there is and it's completely, it's just... You can't be sure either way. I mean, you. I mean, you know, those who have faith, as they would refer to it as, believe obviously that there is, and those who have me, I, me, I line of line more of a science, so I always had faith, faith in science. Um, but science doesn't explain everything, and you know, so I, I'm impartial. I'm open to both concepts. I'm open to all the arguments. I don't really care either way, because at the end of the day, I'll find out when I die, or maybe some point in between. Um. So, anyways, blah, 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 long story short, I love venting, I love ranting and, like, going on different topics. Uh, he comes in, sees me, hey, how's it going? Great. Tries to shake my hand. No, don't shake my hand, I'm sick. And he's like, oh, I'll pray for, you know, I was like, I'm sick, don't shake my hand, just, it's good. Uh, oh, I'll pray for you. Well, what do you do? Um, maybe it'll help, maybe it won't. I, I've always had a really good immune system, and I've always gotten, ah, it's just not important. So anyways, he goes in the bathroom, is the first thing he does, and he walks in the bathroom, right, and I'm throwing stuff in the bailer, which is directly across the door, and he just goes off about this. These are the people that, ah, I was going off about this cardboard box. And it astounds me, because this guy comes in, and he's like, oh, oh, you know, he's like a, you know, he, oh, you gotta do this to get, be good in life, and all this stuff, and he just freaking goes off about a cardboard box. And I think she, it was like an empty toilet paper box. I think she refilled the toilet paper dispensers, cleaning the toilets as she scrubs because this guy pisses all over him. And or I, that's, you know, that's completely, uh, you know what I mean. We all use the restrooms. We all make them dirty. So I don't, he just immediately jumps on this and he doesn't know it's her. He says some, this stupid person, well, the lady doesn't work for our company. 
and he just vents and goes off, and he's like, this is what, and these are the, the amazing things, these are the people that want raises. And I'm like, dude, you make like $6 more an hour than I do, and I work three times harder than you. Like, how, like, you can't, oh, just, it, it irks me. It irks me, because then that person is so, people like that can be so two-faced. I'm not saying he is. He's a very nice guy, and I get along with him very well, and, but I can't, it's not my place to judge anybody. Only person I can judge is me, myself, and I, because I make my own decisions. Um, but it it blew my mind how quickly he snapped, and I was like, "Dude, wow!" And he's just going off, and I'm like, "This is amazing! This is the best thing ever!" Because this, I mean, it's just, it's just, it was just crazy. I just to me, somebody who, somebody who. Can be so we're so quick to jump to conclusions about things because in his mind he thought it was some lazy person that grabbed toilet paper and just left the empty box in there just to hate on everything, you know that type. No, I mean you know she's not allowed to use the baler, so instead of taking the box out and throwing it on the floor as a trip hazard, she may have left it in there or she may have been a rush to get toilet paper to try to get done because she's in there for like four hours a night and that sucks because it's not a big store, and. Um, like, she's got kids, like, I can see why she's in and out, and she does a great job, like, I mean, we've had, like, three cleaning people, and they've all sucked, and she's fantastic, she doesn't get everything right, who cares, uh, she, she shows up, and she works her ass off, and she leaves, like, that's, we absolutely adore her, and she's the nicest person ever, like I said, she tries, to, like, to me, I'm terrible at understanding people that, you know, are anywhere near foreign, I'm just bad at it, it's something I'm not good at. I'm trying to get better at. So she was just trying to, like, I was at lunch. And she was just trying to strike up a conversation about the weather. And I was just like, I don't know what you're saying. And she was speaking perfect English. But she was so, like, confused about what she was saying. She was trying so hard to speak English. I, I thought she didn't know, like, in my mind, I wasn't, it was making it harder for me to understand because she was trying so hard to make me understand. And it was just like, oh, you're just talking about it may not snow anymore. Oh, that makes sense. And it, but it, it was like a five minute conversation of just trying to figure out what she was saying. That's just how bad I am about stuff. I'm really smart about some things. I'm really great at some things, but just understanding people when they try to talk sometimes just whoop right over my head. Um, so I, long story short to end the thing, it, it astounds me. And I'm, like I said, I'm probably the most guilty of this of anybody that I know. It's astounding how quickly we can jump to conclusions and make it like piss us off. Oh, in regards to someone else's actions. Like we see someone else do something. Or find the results of someone else doing something. And immediately snap. Um, and I'm horrible at it. And then when I see other people do it. I'm like man I look like that. And I sound like that. I'm such an asshole. Um, but it, it just uh, it amazed me. And that was just something that happened at work today. That like blew my mind. And it made me smile. And now I think about it, it makes me smile. That it, it annoyed me so much. Because I do it so much. Um, but I've been working to get better at it. It's just being patient with people. But I can understand it. Be, I mean. In my The one thing I hate about my job. Is I'm kind of a leader. I'm kind of a manager at work. They give me all the manager duties. But they don't pay me the manager money. Which, I mean, I, I did get a little bit of a raise, but like a dollar an hour raise to be a lead. Um, but it's enough to pay my bills. I have my own apartment. I live in my city. Like, I don't, I commute 15, 11 to 15 minutes to work, depending on traffic. And I like my job, and it, you know, I, I'm a little burnt out from it, what I've worked. I work two jobs, and I've, I think I've worked every single day. For a couple months now, I think it, every now and then I get a, like a Tuesday off. Like at my current at the store that I work at, I work um, forty to forty eight hours, and then I do another job that I work four or five times a month. Um, that um, is another eight to ten hour day attached, and I just go from one job to the other. So I'm kind of burnt, but uh, I'm almost out of time. Thank you guys for listening to me, Rand. It's really bad. I know. I, there's going to be so many of these videos. I, I don't know why I like doing them. It's just entertaining for me. I, I I made a YouTube channel just a minute ago, and I'm uploading my first three, my two book reviews, and my really awkward intro. Um, if you like listening to me rant and vent about stupid stuff, there's plenty to come. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Oh, my God, I'm doing a pitch. Oh, this, I used to do a YouTube channel back in the day for a video game, and that was bad. It was. We always had little mottos, and it was just terrible. So... 
thank you guys and have a great day.